The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 13, verses 22 to 30. Through towns and villages, Jesus went teaching, making his way to Jerusalem. Someone said to him, Sir, will there be only a few saved? He said to them, Try your best to enter by the narrow door, because I tell you, many will try to enter and will not succeed. Once the master of the house has got up and locked the door, you may find yourself knocking on the door, saying, Lord, open to us. But he will answer, I do not know where you come from. Then you will find yourself saying, We once ate and drank in your company. You taught in our streets, but he will reply, I do not know where you come from. Away from me, all you wicked men. Then there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. When you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, and yourselves turned outside, and men from east and west, from north and south will come to take their places at the feast of the kingdom of God. Yes, there are those now last who will be first, and those now first who will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers, sisters, youngsters and children, we are offering this sacrifice for all the suffering brothers and sisters, requesting your valuable prayers during this Holy Mass for my maternal grandmother who passed away yesterday and whose funeral is this morning at 10 a.m. Mrs. Antonia Darson, kindly pray for the repose of the soul of my maternal grandmother. My dear friends, in our lives, we always look for an easy way out to get things done or to reach our particular destination. In other words, shortcuts. We use this terminology in order to get things done quicker, shortcuts. And this shortcut method is found in every areas of life. Interestingly, in today's gospel, it focuses on that shortcut to heaven, shortcut to heaven. And in the gospel, we see a person questioning Jesus, Lord, Will only a few be saved? Lord, will only a few be saved? Jesus replied to him from the Gospel of Luke chapter 13 verse 24. Luke chapter 13 verse 24. Jesus is responding to him. Strive to enter through the narrow door. See the response given by the person of Jesus. Strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able. Many will try to enter but will not be able. Narrow, my dear friends, narrow means that which is not proportionate, we need to make an effort to get through. Now Jesus is giving this teaching, strive to enter through narrow door. Strive to enter through narrow door. For many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able. That means what? That which is not proportionate, we need to make effort to get through. We need to make effort to get through. In other words, sufferings of life 
we really find hard to pass our days, especially, isn't it? Sufferings of life. Whenever we are going through suffering, we find it very hard to pass our days, especially when we are going through some serious problems in life. We find it very hard to pass our days. Now the shortcut to heaven is through suffering. Shortcut to heaven is through suffering. And what we do is we tend to run away from it and are in want of embracing eternal life. I don't want suffering, but I want eternal life. This is our calculation. My dear friends, suffering is a wide term. It's a very wide term. Suffering which comes to us through insults, through failures, through humiliations, through sicknesses, through rejection, through the loss of jobs or the persons. And we have a very long list of sufferings of this kind. Therefore, it is a very wider terminology, suffering. My dear friends, in the Gospel of Matthew, Chapter 7, verse 14. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 14. We read in this way. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life. And there are few who find it. Jesus is very clear in giving this teaching. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life. And there are few who find it. There are few who find it. My dear friends, this is the shortcut to heaven. Through suffering, through narrow door, we enter life. Now, apostles were convinced of this fact. Apostles were convinced of this fact. And we read in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 22. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 14, verse 22. It is through many sufferings. It is through many persecutions that we must enter the kingdom of God. It is through many persecution that we must enter the kingdom of God. My dear brothers and sisters, that is also a very important area that we need to look into. Now, about all these sufferings, we have listened. Now, who is going to help us in our suffering? Who is going to help us in our suffering? My dear friends, it is the Spirit of God. It is a Spirit, it is a Spirit of God who is going to help us. And it is for sure. It is for sure. We read it from the first reading of today. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. Romans chapter 8, verse 26. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. Yes. I have weakness of running away from suffering. The Spirit of God helps me. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. Through the aid and guidance of the Spirit of God, through the aid and guidance of the Spirit of God, we are able to embrace life promised by God. We are able to embrace life promised by God. In Romans chapter 8 verse 30, we read in this way, from the first reading, Romans 8 30, those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, through our daily sufferings, through our daily sufferings of life, let us embrace life that God is gifting to us. The pathway is narrow, the door is narrow. I make little effort to squeeze myself through that, to embrace life. Little discomfort, little uneasiness, the sufferings that comes my way, let me not run away from the suffering. And therefore, during this Holy Eucharist, we pray and we offer, Lord, I offer my sufferings to you. Lord, I offer my sufferings to you. Grant me your grace and take me to your place. 
Amen.